the term gyaru derives from the English word gal or girl, encapsulating a vibrant youth subculture in Japan popular from the 1990s to 2000s. Gyarus are young men and women characterized by their love of dark tans, bleached hair, and a highly exaggerated Western aesthetic. The style reflected a specific aspect of Japanese culture that was influenced by American or Western trends, particularly in terms of appearance, while maintaining a distinct Japanese cultural identity. Over time, the term kogyaru emerged in media and marketing to describe young women embracing this contemporary beauty ideal. Characterized by mini skirts, bleached hair, loose socks, and oversized shoes. This style originated from Japanese schoolgirls who adopted the gyaru look in their uniforms. Notable figures in this scene, like pop stars Fukuda Kyomi and Tanaka Reina, exemplify the pure kogyaru look, complete with flashy makeup and vibrant hair. The gyaru subculture features various subtypes, including the aforementioned ko gyaru, teen and schoolgirl styles, blending cute and sexy, hime gyaru, which are romantic doll-like princess girls of the 2000s, the ganguru, which translates to blackface, representing an extreme version with their darker tans and bolder makeup from the 1990s. Despite their diversity, these groups are united by an overarching theme of bold fashion choices, such as large eye makeup, extravagant hairstyles, eye-catching outfits that challenge traditional feminine and beauty standards of Japan, which historically favoured white skin and modesty. Instead, gyaru celebrate a fun-loving, rebellious spirit, frequently attending Shibuya and Shinjuku nightclubs and throwing extravagant parties. The term kogyaru itself is thought to have originated from bouncers referring to underage girls attempting to enter these clubs. Ultimately, the gyaru movement stood as a vibrant protest against conventional beauty norms in Japan at the time. Japanese youth seeked to break free from these restrictions, expressing their desire for individuality and freedom through their exaggerated fashion choices. The gyaru subculture reflected a broader trend among young people who resisted the rigid social norms and conservative values that had historically dominated Japanese culture. Many gyarus and their peers preferred engaging in fun, less conventional jobs, such as working in bars or nightclubs, which allowed them to express themselves in all their gyaru glory. This attitude was partly influenced by the challenging job market at the time, but also stemmed from a rejection of the traditional work ethic that their parents adhered to. Instead of aspiring for stable, lifelong careers, many young people embraced a lifestyle characterized by creativity, spontaneity, often showcased through their bold, colorful clothing choices. Gyaru subcultural fashion served as a powerful form of visual self-expression, allowing them to carve out their own identities in a visually stimulating manner. Gyaru began as a subculture focused primarily in Shinjuku, but was soon adopted by underground or subversive media and fashion outlets. In 1995, the Gyaru Bible, Egg Magazine, was first published, featuring amateur kogyaru idols like Masamegu. Magazines like Egg were referred to as street magazines, with a strong focus on current youth street fashions of the time. Egg acted as a reactionary magazine that both took inspiration from the subculture and reinforced the subculture into existence by certifying the style into something published and marketable. Editors and photographers like Yasemasu Yonehara were at the forefront of giving Gyaru press attention, leading to retail impact. Local retailers in Shinjuku catered to the emerging subculture to some extent, but much of the style was very DIY with classic gyaru clothing seemingly normal compared to their expressive makeup. Some gyaru subcultures now have specific brick and mortar stores across Tokyo, such as Closet Child, which caters to a variety of subcultural styles. While gyaru and other Tokyo subculture street fashions were infamous nationally and globally, many of the styles from the 90s to 2000s died out by the 2010s. Famous gyaru magazines such as Egg have since ceased publication, with many Japanese fashion outlets reminiscing on the disappearance of gyaru and Harajuku girls on the streets and in their magazines. While not always a popular or praised style, it is clear that the affection remains for the deeply tanned and heavily eyelined girls of Shinjuku, and their absence is felt profoundly by their sister subcultures. The once bright and colourful streets of Shinjuku seem a little duller without the bold makeups of the gyaru. But not all hope is lost. New and emerging street fashions have since filled the void, with a new wave of gyaru appearing on social media internationally since the revival of Y2K fashion online. Other subcultures of similar times remain strong, such as Lolita, which continue to see a rise in popularity across the world.